be trained in a specific field and guys you get paid for it yes so every month while you are being trained they go to pay you guys if you don't want this opportunity tell me which one else do they want okay Welcome guys to Time with Steven and it's your boy Man Steve repping Denmark, the second happiest country in the whole wide world scene. Yes, guys, sorry for keeping all of you waiting. You know, I know it's been a while since I dropped another content and it's because I've been working on several projects, you know, projects that's going to be beneficial to all of you, my viewers, you know, so please kindly stick and stay with me. You know, I'll soon be announcing all of these projects right on this platform you know yes guys today i'm taking you to germany for an exciting opportunity guys you won't believe this you know but before i take you to germany make i take time to address a couple of things you know first of all guys i am not a travel agent and i know you know what that means okay yes secondly guys these opportunities i'm bringing to you guys they are real you know but there is one thing you need to know you need to put in the hard work guys if you are unwilling to put in that hard work please forget it okay for those of you who are willing to put in the hard work i guarantee you that if you should follow all the tips i'll be sharing with you guys you stand a higher chance of getting all these opportunities okay so one thing to you need to note is kindly watch my videos from start to the end i know you won't save data you know but please opportunities like this you want to watch through and through so say you go grab all the tips all the necessary information okay yes guys the last thing is that i know most of you are requesting for opportunities in denmark yes guys I'm working on all of that. They are going to be coming out soon. You know, my Steve, I know won't come with some shallow content, you know, shallow information for you. You know, I really want to get detailed information, get all the necessary tips before I make content, you know. Yes. So I'm currently about to finish, you know, certain uh, opportunities in Denmark, which I'll be sharing with all of you you know but the european countries you know most of them are great nations you know like germany for instance i'm taking you to you know it is a great nation you know so make you not just uh, look to denmark you know yes germany too is a great country okay so they cannot talk too much today as i said i'm taking you to germany for an exciting opportunity guys what is this opportunity i keep talking about all right so in case you haven't heard about osbidon yes and i hope i pronounced the name correctly osbidon simply means vocational training yes so if you've been following me for a couple of while i've told you the whole of europe is experiencing shortage of labor yes so a country like germany you know has come out with several programs to enable internationals to easily relocate to the country you know and one of these program is the ausbildon program you know yes this ausbildon is a vocational training program that enables not only residents of germany you know to be trained in a specific field and get paid for it but guys guess what the great news is that it is open up for all people around the world yes it is open up for internationals you know so guys if you are watching me please pay attention to this video you know because i'll be sharing the requirements and various tips you know about this program with you right yes so the house be done be a vocational training program where it will enable you jackpa to germany be trained in a specific field and guys you get paid for it yes so every month while you are being trained they go to pay you guys if you don't want this opportunity tell me which one else you they want okay so 
without much ado, make a share the requirements and the processes with you. Okay, so number one on the requirement be say you must be able to speak German to a specific level. Yes, guys, why is this necessary? So with this program, you know, the whole vocational skills will be taught in the German language. Okay, so they want you to be able to understand, you know, whatever they will be teaching you, at least, you know, yes. So the German language is classified into various levels. Okay, so it starts from the A1 right out to the C2 level. Okay, so most of these programs require the basic B1 level. Okay, and guys, so the German language, the A1 is for beginners. Okay, yes, the A2 is for elementary level. Then the B1 is intermediate level. Okay, so most of this program requires that you have the B1 certificate. Okay, yes. So guys, the tip I'll be sharing with you, okay, be say, guys, if you have a mobile phone, you know, a smartphone, you know, kindly go on the App Store or the Google Play Store, download a language, you know, a learning program, you know, such as Duolingo, okay, you know, set it to German, start learning the basics, okay, yes, start learning the basics, feed your brain with more of the basic communication in the German language, okay, yes, you can go on YouTube as well, download materials, you know, that will enable you learn the programs faster, okay, yes, but you go ask, say, why is it that they are requesting for a certificate and I'm asking you, you know, to start learning on your own. The reason we say, guys, I've done my research and it is a bit expensive, you know, to go through the A1 level, uh, A2 level before getting to the B1 level, okay? It all involves a lot of money, yes. So per my research, you know, the A1 level in Ghana, for instance, is costing about 2500 you know for eight weeks intensive course you know guys i know it is not an easy money to come by you know for most of you right yes the uh the a2 level two cost uh, approximately the same amount you know whilst the b2 the sorry whilst the b1 uh the price is a little bit down you know so the reason why i'm asking or informing you to learn this by yourself is that guys the beginners level it is just basic communication you know just you know the basic level of communication such as asking how are you how to respond to those you know conversations you know yes there are things you can learn pretty much on your own right yes so should you be able to learn it to a certain standard you can then register, you know, to start the B1 level, you know. Yes, I mean, this is like common knowledge, okay. Yes, in order for you to save money, this be the route I go advise, say, you go go, right. Yes, so wherever you are watching me from, be it Ghana, uh, Kenya, Nigeria, wherever you are, kindly go to Google, you know, and type in, German language institution uh, near me, you know, many are going to pop up, you know. Yes, per my research, the ones, you know, that are certified, you know, don't just register to any, you know, German language institution. Make sure they are certified, okay? Yes, so the one that pretty much came up was the Goethe Institute, right? Yes, guys, you can register with them right after you know, you've learned the basics by yourself, you know, though I'm sure they will test your knowledge in the language before, you know, they'll, they want to assess you first, you know. So yes, should you pass, they can enroll you right into the B1 level. And then within eight weeks, you get your certificate. So guys, kindly take this to uh, this tip, right? Okay, so requirement number two, is educational requirements so 
most of these vocational training centers require that you have the standard secondary level of education so be it waek or wasek guys if you have these certificates kindly have them translated into the german language and have them certified you know certif certifying makes it authentic okay so yes this is pretty much all you need okay if you already have uh, some level of vocational training in your home country you know yes and you have certificates also to prove guys that is also a plus it is not a necessity okay it is a plus so kindly have that certificate also translated and certified okay yes now let me take you to requirement number three so guys on requirements number three you need to research into the specific field that best fits your interest okay so here you go on the osbidon website which i'll be linking it right under the description of this video okay so yes on this website there are hundreds of vocational programs available to you to apply to okay it ranges from baker to machine operators to railway workers guys electricians the list is endless okay so just go on the website research into which specific field you are interested in and then you have to apply to the program okay which leads us to the fourth requirement okay and that is cv and motivational letters okay so guys if you should find an apprentice field that best fits your interest and hence you meet the criteria you need to design a cv and a motivational letter to match the specific you know a uh, field right okay so here i'll be linking under the description of this video templates and formats you can use you know in europe there is a standard of cv a motivational letter so i'm going to be linking a format and a template right under the description of this video so you can follow to design your own cv and motivational letter okay guys the thing you need to note is that this must be in the german language yes your cv and motivational letter must be in the german language okay okay so now let me take you to the fifth requirement and that is interview process yes so should your application go through successfully guys you will be required to attend an interview which will be conducted online okay yes so the purpose of this interview is basically to test your knowledge about the german language and then the specific field you've chosen you know why you've chosen that specific field okay yes that's the basically the purpose of this interview process okay so there is nothing to worry about no stress my brothers okay yes so in order for you to prepare for this interview you can hop on to youtube you know there are various materials to your avail right yes so kindly take note one of the tip during the interview is to let them know that german is not your first language okay yes so see if they should ask you a question which you are not you know sure about you don't really understand it you can ask them to repeat it as many times as possible right yes it is very important don't just answer questions anyhow okay if you don't understand it let them know that german is not your first language so you will want them to repeat or rephrase the question okay that is basically just that okay so let me take you to the sixth process and that is visa application process yes that is the next thing so upon being selected you'll be sent confirmation of training documents or contracts to which you will add your health insurance uh, your proficiency uh, language certificate that is the b1 certificate and then financial proof plus other documents okay so here let me clarify the financial proof okay so the embassy really wants you to prove that you have sufficient amount to which 
you will be able to keep up with your expenses whilst living in Germany throughout the program. Okay, so most of this program, you know, takes about two to three and a half or sometimes five years to complete. Okay, so they want you to show a minimum of 863 euros per month to cover your expenses. Okay, so you are going to ask, where am I going to get this money from? It is pretty easy. Okay, so the contract you'll be sent, you know, involves information about how much you are going to be paid while being trained. Okay, and guys, as of 2023, right, the average salary per month was 1,066 euros, which exceeds the minimum requirements from the embassy okay yes that was the average guys it is not the minimum it is the average okay so in case you should get the standard i mean the standard um, minimum uh, amount per month throughout the program per my research is about 850 okay euros per month okay so in case okay you should get less than the average which is like 850 euros per month it means you have a deficit of 13 euros okay so how are you going to indicate the your financial proof okay it is pretty simple this 13 euros deficit you need to multiply it by the number of years okay you are going for this program okay so let's take it your program is going to last for two years which is 24 months okay so you need to multiply the 24 months by 13 okay that is the deficit and that is going to give you 312 euros basically that is all you need to show as proof okay so yes the tip here is that in searching for you know the apprentice fields okay guys kindly search them in the bigger cities and with big companies okay they pay more yes don't go and be looking out for programs in you know outskirts and the rest no look and center your search into you know the big cities so let's say you go on the website you find a company just google you know to find out where you know within germany is this company situated okay yes basically that is the tip uh, I'm, I'm sharing with you okay okay so let's move on to the seventh requirement your visa application go through successfully the seventh requirement bc is time to jaguar yeah Charlie, that's the time for you to jaguar to oivoma in land yes guys that is basically all so if you get to Germany, you simply have to apply for your residence permit and then you start with your training. Simple as that, okay? Guys, I know, see, upon all these requirements, the biggest hurdle be say you go learn the German language. So, like I told you from the beginning of this video, you need to put in the work. Guys, make no joke, put in the work. Nothing good comes easy, okay? Yes, even if you they pay to somebody make it help you do it is no it is not easy okay guys put in the work you can do this right on your own okay this be the purpose of my show to show you the way give you the tips so say you could do this all by yourself okay so yes guys that is it for this program i'll be sharing all the necessary you know tools and all the necessary information right under the description of this video okay so yes if you enjoy this video kindly please kindly give me a thumbs up okay yes and share my videos okay guys i'll see you on the next great opportunity is bye from here peace